Okay, here's a messy version of it. I haven't cleaned up yet, but this looks a little weird, but it's nice to have to adjust it. But there's the check valve. There's the Y site. I'm going to take the battery back up out of there, make that battery one of the solar panel batteries. There's the sump. There's the there's the regular pump right here. I just teed off of the the copper up there and then connected it and then I reinforced this because that sucker was wobbling in the wind. And I put the shut off right there. Now as you can see, and it's starting to fill up uh, fill up kind of quickly here. So we'll uh, We'll wait for it to turn on, but I set the floater so that way, um, because it, you need the floater three quarters, uh, three quarters of the floater to be submerged for it to turn on or turn off or turn on, I should say. So it's filling up there kind of quickly, but we'll we'll speed it up here a little bit, and you might not hear it click on because of the water from the bucket pouring. Oh, let me do it better here. Not the rim yet. Let me fill up some more water. I think I have to adjust the floater a little bit. So that way it'll turn on just a tad bit sooner. But this is my messy solar panel setup over here. There's the speaker for my CB. And the one charge controller and the one little dinky battery. I'm kind of sitting over here. Here's my little 12 volt refrigerator that I got for 15 bucks works great and then I have it running in with extension cord believe it or not outdoor extension cord okay oop that's a little much okay let's see here hope I don't drop my phone in the water that would stink I don't know if you heard it kick on. Now you can start to see the rim of the sump pump or the floater guard. And you can kind of see how fast that's going down. It's, it's emptying fairly quickly. Okay, that's shut off. Now you can see where the floater's at. The floater on the sump pump is still elevated. So that way I can go ahead and turn on the sump pump now. the sump pump but of course the sump pump will pump faster than that <laughs> and that's it and when I was testing it the first time while it was pumping and you can actually see you can see in there where the the foot or the foot valve is but that's going to be draining for a little bit because it's I've had the sump um, turned on for a while, or turned off for a while, but you can see that uh, um, that it's sitting pretty good. I've got about another um, six to eight inches um, from the bottom of that foot valve to the bottom of the sump, and right at the bottom of the sump is where all the sediment is. But um, the nice thing is, is when I had it on, I was draining the five-gallon bucket of water in there pretty quickly, and it was keeping up with it with no problem. So the only thing I don't like about it is how it's, you know, how it uses a piece of wood to, to bridge the sump gap, but 
you know, it is what it is. It's a dry basement. So, alrighty.